18650 part 2 the scammers the fakers yeah let's take a look at the cells but first a lot of cells from eBay let's throw them into the bin So what is the final conclusion of this battery test that I did? That's a very very good question. Uh, first of all before we start I have linked down below to my website where I have started to put up the articles. On that website you will also be able to find images of all the batteries of course but also the spreadsheet that I was talking about. You will also find all the different numbers and my conclusion in written text. This video will not be that long. I will go through a little bit on what's going on especially the web page itself. I just started it so it's pretty new and I don't have much on it yet. The batteries itself as I thought was not performing well at all. I mean I, I didn't think otherwise but there were actually one battery that did stood up, stood out and this is the one, the trust fire. And the thing is when it comes to the fire generation like ultra fire, the trust fire, uh, this one here is not one of those they tend to be a little bit better and when I did weigh them in they were weighing a lot more this ultra fire here I think was uh, over 40 gram this over 30 so basically this trust fire here actually performed very well compared to what the other ones did but it also is a lot heavier the, the other guys here are weighing in roughly 24 grams and that's nothing uh, a normal battery that are genuine, like this Samsung brand here, it weighs roughly 44 gram. Why are they so damn light? Let's take a look. Here you have a battery, opened up. First of all, all of those batteries around here are said to have protective circuitry inside. If they would have had it, they most likely have it in the top here. But as you can see, it's just connected directly to the top valve. And if we try to take a look inside, it looks like a big damn gap before you actually see the cell. And the wrap is in the cell is also hollow. There's nothing there. No wonder this doesn't weigh anything. It's nothing. One more. One more. I have opened three so far. And beware when you open this because it do react to air. So as soon as you pop the seed it will start to deteriorate pretty much. Uh, Here you have one of the rolls itself and if you take a roll like this and compare it to the height you will see that it doesn't fill the whole capsule and if you take a look here as well you will also see that it is hollow straight through. Basically we could remove this tape and you can see through it. There's nothing there. We had one good cell except for two of the cells that I have bought before that was better. They don't contain what they should. They don't contain the protective circuitry that they should as well. Uh, I'm not going to do any further tests on them because that's not useful. And I also think that you guys have gotten the information that you need. Are they genuine or not? No they aren't. Do they perform good enough to work with? No they don't. They perform roughly 500 milliamp hours compared to what they should or 2 amp hours that most of you guys do want. And when looking at the inside we do understand why they only perform one fourth. Because they only contain one fourth of the content they need to contain to be able to perform. And quickly let's go back to the web page again. Um, in the bottom here you will see that I have the spreadsheet and I would think that if you look at that one you will see the data itself and if you have data to add to it feel free to contact me if there is a demand or if there are plenty of you guys that do want to fill it in let me know and I'll open up the document to everyone instead and we'll do it that way 
because I think this is very very useful especially for people that are doing DIY Tesla home walls. Many of you guys have most likely at least in the beginning thought that China cells that are cheap should be the go should be the way to go and they might perform good enough and most of them don't so don't buy them don't do it I mean don't big 18650 tests done unfortunately I, I couldn't test every cell that I did order I did order way about 25 cells 18 or 16 even of them did arrive in time and I would consider six weeks more than enough they do tend to come in at four weeks normally or even less than that but six weeks enough so ask to refund on every of the cells that are here except the one that did perform I will add that information in the spreadsheet a little bit later but that will take a couple of more days and I don't want to have this video laying around anymore so I still think I need to put it up as soon as possible guys don't forget that this is a lot of work, there is a lot of documentation that needs to be written, I need to sort, I need to charge, I need to test, I need to investigate. So, so if you like that and you like the content please subscribe, please like it, comment and so guys thank you all for watching and see you next time, bye.